everyone, it's Rochelle with Originally Worn and today I'm going to show you how to decoupage fabric onto drawer fronts. So this is actually the top of the dresser that we're going to be putting fabric on. Um, if you're going to be putting a fabric on it, try to go for the lightest weight cotton that you can do. Upholstery fabric gets pretty heavy to do this with and doesn't stick as well. This is a medium weight uh, cotton that I got in an upholstery length because it needed to cover the whole length of this dresser. Um, it's a beautiful floral watercolor. So I'll show you how we're going to put it on. So I've ironed this fabric really well and I've kind of rough cut it to about the size that I need for the top here. And then I'm going to use either um, Annie Sloan's decoupage glue you can use you can use um, a Mod Podge. Any Sloan's decoupage glue's got a semi-matte finish. Mod Podge it comes in lots of different finishes. Um, I always put it in a container because I have a big brush, which actually this one's even too big for this container. Um, the faster you can work with this stuff, the better. So what you do is you kind of have rough guessed where it's gonna be, and you just kind of start on one edge. Try to not make too many creases in it, and I'm gonna take a little bit of my decoupage glue here, and I'm keeping an edge of the wood, actually wood, so I'm trying not to get any glue on there because it will have a little bit of a different sheen than the wax does that's already on here and on that note everything has been already painted and waxed and even the areas that I put fabric on I still did a single coat of a color that was close to the background so nothing showed through kind of it was especially when it's a lighter weight cotton you can really tend to see like a wood background through a white cotton so you need to make sure to paint it like white in that instance first or in this I painted it um, a mix of Amsterdam green and Napoleonic blue and graphite and all this to kind of match the back of this fabric so this is a waterfall dresser and I'm kind of actually backwards to what you're seeing here but go down here and get a little bit on all the edges So you can see that it's already starting to dry where it's thinner, so it is definitely a quick process. So I've popped them back over there, and they're, I'm rubbing it really good tight down to this little edge here. Get it to stick. You don't want a really thick, thick amount of glue because it'll get all gooby on you and you don't want that either or you don't want to goob through. So what I'll do now is I'll lift this side of the fabric and I'll actually work in small sections from this direction. Um, so let me work on that. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry now, and then um, I'm going to do the exact same thing on all three of the drawers. Okay, so now that your glue has dried some on this layer here, we're going to go back and put a layer of the glue on top of it. Um, that will allow it to kind of not fray at the edges, and it will also allow if someone puts a water glass on it or gets it dirty to be cleaned off. So then you just do kind of the same. Again, not trying to get it on where you're gonna keep it wood. 
A drawer is a little bit easier because you can just go off the edges the whole way, but this still works. And try to do as thin a layers as you can. Um, typically the thinner the better. But it's getting kind of thick right there. Of course, this you don't have to rush so much because you don't have to put anything on top of it. You're just sealing it. I'm going to keep going and do all of the top of this and then the drawer fronts too and then I'll let them dry overnight and I will be back to show you how to cut them apart. Okay, so now everything is nice and dry. Um, both layers are. You can feel it. It's kind of hard now. It's kind of more uh, rough like wallpaper would be. Um, and then what you'll need is a exacto knife with a really 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 sharp blade on it and a straight edge um, this is a little different because it's on a piece of furniture and it's not on a drawer so I'll show you how to do the drawers here in a second um, but I'm gonna go there's a little lip of wood right here and I'm gonna try my hardest to bump this ruler up against that wood and cut right down it. Now it's scary because of course if you mess it up, your whole project's messed up. So we'll just hold our breath everyone. Hope that this is okay. Uh, he's, he needs to be cut off a little bit more right there. This is going into the scrap area, so we'll kind of just trim him like that. And sometimes you can go back and tuck him a little bit. I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to scratch the finish either. Needs to be trimmed up a little bit. It's definitely a tedious process, but for people that can't draw like myself, it's a good alternative to have a really beautiful print on something. See, I'll have to come back and touch him up with a little bit of wax because he's a little scratched right there now. Um, I still want to use the straight edge though because if my hand slips, it won't slip into the fabric. It'll slip out of the design. Yes, and sometimes as I'm doing now, you can pull as you go and kind of see where you're cutting so you don't end up with a double cut like I am in some parts too but it is working as you go along and just like I always do uh, perfection is not really usually the key in what I do just creativity so if some part gets messed up or something goes wrong don't stress about it Say it adds to the character. I'll continue doing um, 
this around all the edges here and then I will be back to do a drawer. Okay, so I finished all the top. Um, it was a bit harder than drawers to do because I had some weird curves and angles to deal with there. Um, but I wanted to show you, this has a mirror on it, so I just tucked this around to the back and uh, glued it back there. And now we're gonna work on one of the drawers here. So this is the drawer for this big monster. And you can see this back side has already been cut because I put the drawers together when I decoupaged them so the fabric lined up perfect. So now I just need to cut off each of the edges. Okay, so the drawer's been flipped around and I'm right-handed, so I like to hold the ruler with my left hand and um, cut with my right, of course, then. So the drawer's flipped upside down on a cutting mat because you're gonna push pretty hard. Because this has the decoupage glue on each side, though, it cuts a little bit easier and frays a little bit less than it would if it's regular fabric. Um, again, you need a pretty sharp X-Acto knife Kind of try to get them in there because you want it cut close enough to your edge of your drawer as you can get without cutting into the design. So my exacto knife isn't doing too much for me, or my ruler isn't right now, I guess, but. Yeah, he looks a little bit wobbly. I'm gonna have to go back and trim him up. Um, sometimes it helps to do this where you pull away as you're going so you can see. And every X-Acto knife is a little bit different. Mine has this like rubber finger guard on it, which is actually good in this sense because it's not scratching my drawer but it's bad because it's making it a little bit not quite as close to the edge as I would like. Okay, so let's put this up on the cutting mat. Adjust this guy so you can see him. I got a little low there. It might be a little high there, but we will see. And then I have the edges here to do. See, they have little cute flowers on the sides as peekaboos in this dresser to go with this fabric. And then one on the inside. I love little hidden surprises. And I love to paint flowers. Okay, so all four sides should be trimmed up. He looks a little wobbly right there. And you might have to also go back with a little bit of decoupage glue. See if I can get just the teeniest amount off. That's actually kind of hard to do. You know what? We're not going to mess him. We're going to glue him. Because, oh, and halfway through I switched to this kind of crappier brush. That was just a wee bit better than those black brushes because I just hate those. I couldn't handle it any longer. I uh, don't want to use my wonderful Annie Sloan brushes for glue. Try to clean off some of that, tuck that kind of in there. Usually there's little tricks that in the end he'll look perfect. Okay, and so then have your drawer front. See if you can still see this here. And now I've pre-drilled the holes for the handles. 
And so all I have to do is kind of find the hole, take my knife, and stab it down in there. Make sure I get the right spot though. <laughs> that would suck. You can kind of start it and then you'll be able to feel where it will go in there. So there's for one handle. And if I remember correctly, this handle fits a little tight. So hopefully this fabric has not caused that to be even more of an issue. them right up down there and put your washers and your nuts back on there oh I love the this part the finished product is almost done it's too exciting and you know, if you get any little spots, that spot looks like it might need a little bit of glue, um, or any really frayed edges, just hit them with some more glue, and then your little scissors or a knife again, um, kind of to help with the fuzziness. So I'll keep working on that, and then I'll show you the whole dresser when I'm done. Well, after a long and sweaty day, um, it, the dresser is all done. Um, I'll show you where it is. Here it is all finished. Um, and here's the big huge mirror that goes on top of it. It'll be really beautiful. A uh, couple things to note that when you have a drawer, after you get them all done and you put all your drawers in, kind of move them in and out to make sure that there's no spots that need to be trimmed. I know I had to go back and trim a spot right there. Um, and let's see what else is a good thing to note oh um on drawers of any dresser not just decoupage drawers if they're old like this one was and they aren't sliding the best just put a little bit of annie sloan clear wax on the runners of everything and they will glide beautifully so i hope you love this guy let me know if you have any questions again this is rochelle from originally worn thanks guys bye